Cut, cut, cut. Please put some more light on the car. Hey, Johannes, it's okay. We'll have plenty of light. We're in a digital studio here. Ah, you're totally right. This is exactly what we need for this amazing car. Exactly. State-of-the-art car, but also state-of-the-art studio. And by the way, it looks really cutting edge. Yeah, Tanya, it is cutting edge. We have this amazing SUV coupe here. You know, it's all about proportion at this car. We have short overhangs, big wheels, and the cabin is really stretched. We have the A post much more forward and the C post is pushing forward to give this coupe feeling what we really wanted. And all surfaces of the car feel like shaped by the aerodynamics, inclusive the rear spoiler, what is floating over the back end. Johannes, that's fabulous. But you know, the viewers, they really want to experience the car and see it for themselves. Yeah, I would say, hey, voila. Even though it can almost drive itself, you still need to pay attention, right? Otherwise, that extra performance that the ID5 GTX has isn't going to help. <laughs> You're absolutely right, of course. You need to stay razor focused on the street, but also on competition. Hansi, hey. Ja, hallo. Was machst du hier? We had gestern mit der Nationalmannschaft auch einen Dreh hier. Und da wurden ein paar Bälle vergessen. Und wir haben am 11.11. .11. das nächste Länderspiel schon wieder in Wolfsburg bei euch. Und da wollen wir natürlich eine top Performance zeigen. Und die Fans wieder begeistern. Absolut. Und Gesamtperformance bei uns heißt natürlich Straße, bei euch Platz. Ich wünsche auf jeden Fall tolle Trainings bis dahin und viel Erfolg in Wolfsburg. VW Arena und Deutschland heißt zwei Heimspiele. Und äh, ich freue mich, wenn ihr eure tolle Serie, die ihr jetzt gestartet habt, dort fortsetzen könnt. Wir sehen uns dort. Vielen Dank. Ja, Macht's gut. Euch. Thanks. Ciao. So, what were you two saying about performance there, Klaus? Well, we talked about performance in case of Hansi Flick and his national team on the pitch. But of course, it's also on the street for us. And when we talk about performance with the ID5, we talk GTX, which is additional performance, which is dual engine power, which is 299 horsepower, all wheel drive, and a range of 500 kilometers. And all that bound together uh, with a beautiful driving characteristics, I think, it is sporty and yet very beautiful, and it is our addition to the family on our way to zero going forward. Tech. Yes, Tanya. With the ID5, we are taking the digitalization to the next level. The ID5 comes with our latest ID software 3.0. We improved a lot of digital features. Let's take the natural voice control, for example. You can say, hello ID, and add a common phrase you would use, and only seven seconds later, for example, the navigation starts. 
Wow, seven seconds, that really is fast. So what else can it do? With the new travel assist with Swarm Data, the ID5 can overtake on highways autonomously. We call this assisted lane change. You only have to activate the indicator. Great, are there any other automated driving features here? Yes, the ID5 can also park fully autonomously. This is called trained parking. You activate the function, do it once yourself, the ID5 remembers that, and parks all by itself the next time. Brilliant. And one of the things I really like about the ID family is the augmented reality head-up display. Does the ID5 come with that? Yes, of course. And we improved it again, like many other things. And with the over-the-air updates, the new software 3.0 will be available for the whole ID family. Fantastic, Yasmin. Sounds like a win-win situation. Yes, it is. Oh, sorry, don't worry about us. Tanya, take a look. It's so spacious here inside. Yeah, gorgeous. And also really romantic, Johannes. Yeah, it's so easy to fall in love with this interior. And although the ID5 is a coupe, it has as much a space as the ID4 in the back seat and, for example, also in the trunk area. All thanks to the MEB platform. Oh, just beautiful. And look at the sky. Yeah. Hello, ID. Play some music. Stop! We are not finished yet. Who switched the lights off? Hey, what happened? Well, Tanya, we lost power. And in order to keep the lights on, we now use the ID with its battery, and it's called bi-directional charging. That's amazing, Klaus. How does that work exactly? Well, you know, in your usual use case, you would use the electricity from the grid, use it for your car to power the battery and drive around. But it can also be done the other way around. So you can also use the battery power, the electricity, to power whatever you want to power. That is a fantastic invention, Klaus. And while we're talking about inventions, I'm really curious to know, what have we got over here? Well, this is something that lets my heart beat much faster. But this is something we're going to talk about in the beginning of next year. It's the ID bus. It's an addition to our ID family. And it's part of our strategy, Accelerate. Accelerating the way to mobility, the battery electric mobility, the way to zero. Well, I think you're well on your way, Klaus. Congratulations. Thank you. That really is a wrap for today for the world premiere of the ID5 and the ID5 GTX. I hope you've enjoyed it. See you soon. Volkswagen.